everyone, welcome back to the AAEN Fabrication Shop. Today we're going to go ahead and apply some decals to our Olympus model. We've also got some vinyl that we're going to attach to the model. What we want to try to do here is make this what you want it to be. We want to make it look like a sounding rocket. Uh, we've adopted a paint scheme very similar to the Black Brant 3. We've gone through some of our old decal sheets and found a couple decals that we're going to use on this. And basically just have some fun with this. You can see we've got our finished model laying here on the bench. We have some silver vinyl and we're going to be using that on the payload bay. We have some black vinyl that we're going to use on the rocket itself. And then we've got a couple decals that we're going to put on. When we put our payload cover on, we get this white area that shows up. So we want to cover that. Now I don't want to paint this because at some point in time we're going to have to attach this to this. So at this point I don't want to put any paint here or any paint on the nose cone. So what I'm going to do instead is use some of this silver vinyl. It's 7 eighths of an inch wide. Okay, we cut it out. You can get this vinyl at uh, craft stores, hobby stores. It's the same stuff that they use on machines like the Cricut. And now I'm going to mark where it overlaps. it and as you can see it's very close which will be fine because once we pull the paper backing off we'll actually get a little bit of an overlap Here we go. So I have my backing paper off and I'm going to take this and line it up along edge of the payload tube. This is another one of those areas you want to take your time. And so now when we put this on it covers the white and this silver is very close to this silver. And it doesn't have to match exactly if you look at a lot of sounding rockets, if you look at a lot of aluminum airplanes, metal covered airplanes, you'll see where there's different shades of silver as different metals um, line up against each other. So don't feel like you have to get it to match exactly. Having it be just slightly a different color silver actually gives it a more realistic look. We'll take another strip, put it down here on the bottom, and that will finish off the payload section. Okay, so here you can see our payload section. What One thing you want to try to do is make sure your seams are lined up and this will be on the back side of the rocket. This will be the part that goes close to the uh, launch rod so that way it's not very noticeable. The next thing we're going to do is add just a little bit of vinyl trim up at the top. If you notice the pictures we have of the Black Brant 3, um, it has a small rectangular area up near the top in that upper white band. So what we're going to do is take a simple piece of black vinyl and again this is just something that we're eyeballing. This is not a scale model, we're just trying to get stuff to look nice. And so I'll come down to uh, right about there. So I'll cut one here at the inch and three eighths mark. And 
And again, these are just for fun. There's uh, no need to sweat over these. You don't have to do these if you don't want to. Uh, you, as we said earlier, we're a firm believer in the Max's model creed of make it what you want it to be. You don't have to make it like the box top shows. And one of the nice things about doing this like this is that it lets you have some fun. You can do what you want to with the model. You don't have to make it a certain way. Okay? Just have fun with it. Remember, this hobby is supposed to be fun. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some decals. Now, I found some decals in my uh, decal box. Uh, anyone who's made models, you know any decals that you don't use, you always keep. because You never know when you might be able to use them on something else. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need a little bit of water. And you want to take and dip the decal into the water. While it's soaking, go ahead and put some water on the model where you intend to put the decal. This will let you move the decal around. So what we're going to do is we're going to set our decal where we want it and then we want to slide the backing paper out. Then we'll take our rag, make sure it's straight, Smooth it out. And blot off the excess water. Now we're going to do the same thing with our American flag decal. If you look at the Black Brand 3, you'll notice that the tail cone is black and the uh, retaining ring that comes with the Olympus model is a gray color. So you have a choice. You can try painting it. I'm not sure how well the paint's going to hold up to all that use. So what we decided to do instead was to print one from the 3D printer. We'll have a link down below showing where we got the file from on Thingiverse. It only took about an hour to print it and then it was done. As you can see we now have our Olympus model all finished. We really like the way this turned out. I like the red and white color scheme with the silver nose cone and payload bay. The simple decals on the side I think really set it off nicely. And the black ring at the bottom, again, mimicking what we see in the Black Brant 3. I think this says well for uh, Max's theme of make it what you want it to be. In a lot of ways, I like this color scheme a whole lot better than the one that they have on the face card of the kit itself. This completes the finishing series of the Olympus model. In our next series of videos, we will start going over making an electronic payload, and that will be what really brings this model to life. So until next time, wishing you all the best, and take care.